Hey, my name is Dr. Gil Mejia from Tampa, Florida. I'm an internist. I'm the medical director of Rejuvenate Your Life Wellness Center. And I hope everybody's staying well and safe. Um, I'm having this short video about um, COVID-19 swab test versus antibody test. It's because a lot of my patients are asking, what is a swab test? What is the antibody test? What's the difference between the two? Where can I get it? What's the significance of it? So hopefully this video would answer a lot of those and this is for everyone. So let's start with the COVID-19 swab test. Um, what do we need? Uh, pretty much what we need is a specimen from your nose or your throat. We pretty much swab it and we send it to the laboratory in which a clinical scientist would perform a PCR test. Now, how does it work? We detect the presence of viral RNA or the viral antigen, which is the genetic material of the COVID-19. We don't detect antibodies on this test. This is an antigen test or a test for the virus uh, presence. So what does the result mean? Um, if you have a positive result, it means that you have the virus. It also indicates that you currently have an active infection. Now, on the other hand, um, a swab negative test does not rule out virus infection. And these uh, are the limitations of the swab test. If you have a false uh, negative, which can happen, it could be because it's being done very, very early in the disease process. Now, you could have a false negative test if the specimen collection is inadequate. It's very important that the one that's going to be doing your swab collection has uh, experience of doing it. Now, although false positive can happen, it's really rare, but it can happen if there's a cross-contamination or if there's a sp specimen mix-up. Now, how long does it take to get the results? So we've been doing swab tests here in USA for about a month now. Um, the first generation or a month ago, um, unfortunately, it would take about eight days uh, to two weeks to get the result. And that was not acceptable. Nowadays, um, the test is now about two days or about 45 minutes. But last week, the FDA has cleared a five minute test uh, from Abbott. And if I'm not mistaken, this small machine is now uh, available uh, nationwide. So uh, I want everybody, uh, if you want to have a test, I want everybody to call your hospital, uh, your laboratory, or uh, the health department of your state. Now, how accurate is the test? The swab test that we were doing a month ago was only about 70% accurate, unfortunately, but this new Abbott 5 minute test is supposed to be highly accurate. How highly accurate? I don't have the data yet because uh, we're just going to be ramping up the test starting this week, first week of April. Now let's talk about the COVID-19 antibody test. What do we need from you? We just need a small blood. Uh, we will be doing a finger stick. It's like checking your sugar if you're a diabetic. And uh, it would be sent to the laboratory or actually your primary care doctor can run it in their office. Now, there's a lot of antibody tests that's being uh, sold online and I recommend not for you to buy it because this is not validated yet by the FDA. Now, how does it work? The antibody test would identify uh, the host antibodies or the patient's antibodies and there are two kinds of them, the IgM and the IgG. 
and again, it does, and this test does not provide uh, a definitive evidence of uh, current infection because it does not detect the presence of virus per se. Now, what does a positive result mean? It detects a current exposure or past exposure to the virus, not current infection, okay? And it also um, uh, inform whether a patient have recovered from the disease or if the patient have immunity to the infection. There's also a limitation with the antibody tests. The antibody test should not be used as the sole basis for the diagnosis of COVID-19. A false negative can happen if it's performed too early and a false negative may also happen if the antibody is below the detection level, level of the kit. Now, obviously, if the kit or the product um, get wet then or not or stored improperly, it might cause a false negative test. Now, false positive can also happen. If you have a pause or present infection, from other viruses, which is uh, which are related to the coronavirus, then you might test false positive. Now, how long does it take to get the antibody test? Um, you could get the result within 15 minutes. How accurate is the test? It's high sensitive and high specific. So more or less, it's about 90% accurate. Now, this is the summary of the swab test and the antibody test. You could take a picture of this. Now, the question though is, which test should I be having? And what is the best test? Well, to answer that, we have to look at the natural history of uh, coronavirus. If you look at this graph, this is where you are exposed and you start having some sign and symptoms and the virus start growing in your body. This is the first week usually and once your body immune system start responding, these are the antibodies. So the rule of thumb is that the swab test is really good to be collected the first week. And the antibody test as a rule of thumb is good after the first week. Although you could do the antibody test in the second week, you could do, you could also do it after the third week. What I actually recommend is doing a serial testing. So going back to which one is the best for you, which one is the most accurate. Well, there is no diagnostic test that is 100% accurate. The most important thing is doing both test and doing some serial testing because if you do that it would actually increase your accuracy to about 98 percent actually i'll be having a follow-up video about combining the test that way you're going to have a, a better uh, diagnosis so thank you for watching uh, if you like it thumbs up um, comment on it share it but I would like to see you in the next video. Thank you.